This video shows how I made the roof mounts for my Ram Promaster van. I use that to put the roof deck on and to hold the solar panels. If you'd like the detailed instructions, please see the link in the video description. For the Ram Promaster, you will need 10 roof mounts. So you need 10 pieces of PVC. The PVC cuts nicely, but creates a great deal of oil sawdust. Next, I cut an angle on the PVC boards. You don't need to do this, you could just cut the board down to size at a 90 degree angle. But I wanted a wide base for the roof deck. I used my prototype piece to line up the angle on the saw. Yes, I worked during the thunderstorm. Sorry mom. Now, there are two ways to cut the needed slot in the PVC board. This first method is how I made my prototype piece. It uses common tools. Here I am drilling a hole on both ends with the jigsaw. I use a large spade bit, and when the point goes through to the other side, I flip the piece over and finish the hole. You will need to do this on all 10 pieces. That's two holes in each, or 20 holes. Now, you use the jigsaw to cut out the slot. There's another method to cutting out the center. You could make a jig and use a router with an end mill bit. Once the jig is made, cutting out the slot is quick and easy. Of course, this would be even easier if you had access to a CNC machine. That completes the PVC frames. Now, we move on to the aluminum angle brackets. I purchased an aluminum cutting blade for the table saw. It was excellent. There's a link in the description. If you're a woodworker, you know how having the correct blade is important. This blade was perfect for cutting both the aluminum and the plastic. I used anodized white angle aluminum. Sources of supplies and plans with dimension drawings are provided in the video description. I had to cut out the center section for the roof mount nib or T that 
that's on the roof of the ProMaster. I wanted this centered, so I found the center with the table saw and then went off center, one saw curve on each side. Then I flipped the piece and cut it again on the other side. It was a thin piece of aluminum in the center. I cut that piece off with a diagonal pair of pliers. I had already drilled the holes through the brackets, but one bracket needed to have those holes cut into slots. I used my prototype piece to align the table saw. Here I just needed to cut up to the hole. Both sides of the bracket are the same, so I can flip the bracket over and cut on both sides. This way, I only had to set up the saw once. Then I used the prototype piece to align the saw for the inside cut. The holes for the stainless steel bolts are cut undersized and the bolts forced into the holes. The aluminum is soft enough to tap the bolts through but rigid enough to hold the bolt. I use stainless steel bolts and stainless steel nylock nuts for installation. Everything on the roof deck is aluminum, PVC, or stainless steel, or in the case of the super strut, galvanized steel, so nothing is rusting. These mounts and the roof deck have been installed for over a year on our van, and they have performed extraordinarily well. They're tight, rigid, with no rust. I would use the same method on future vans. The only difference is I would cut those PVC slots with the CNC mill. Links are in the description to the plans. Please subscribe and thank you for watching.